Pokemon. Just say so yes. Oh, I had to make sure. Sometimes you looked left and looked I right. Think. What else could you possibly have been looking for? Sometimes the cables right here get stuck on the armchair, so it like moves this whole rig sideways, or it like is stuck on me, and then it just fuck. You should, get, like, you should get one of these nice boom arms. arms where you can swivels. It swivels effortlessly. Can swiv you can. I don't have to loosen or tighten it. Swivels anything. down. It, it goes down, but I don't know how far. Maybe next next purchase with your uh, soon to be coming um, COVID check. Yes, Jessica's actually getting hers in the next few weeks. Well, I mean, shouldn't you guys be getting yours together? I guess she falls into a category because she has asthma. More she can sign up for it. The check, not the vaccine. Oh, I thought you done with the vaccine. No, I said check. Oh. Oh, you goose. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is coming up, huh? They did. Mm -hmm. Is it already signed and like, we just need so, to So that was one of the things I wanted us to talk about. Um, so on uh, Saturday, the Senate actually approved it 50 to 49. So it's a $1.9 trillion stimulus check. Here's the weird part. Only uh, 900 billion is going to citizens. We're not sure where the other trillion, where the trillion part, we're not sure where that's yeah. going, but it goes to, so unemployment is going from 400 to 300 and it extends um, unemployment insurance and like all those kinds of things. So it's actually kind of crazy because um, they lowered the income threshold. So if you made under 75,000, if you're single, uh, then you get like phased out up to 80,000. Whereas before it was like 75,000 to like 100,000. Yeah. Shortened it by a lot. But if you're married, it's uh, 150 or less. So that's exciting. Yeah. Cause Jessica was telling me what we we're going to do with it. And I'm like, so how much can I get? I mean, you could take all of it if we need to pay for shit, but like, I would like to pay for some shit too. Can I just have we'll like a hundred dollars? <laughs> Well, we were talking about it. Uh, I forgot we were talking about. It was just like, man, we haven't bought ourselves anything nice lately, like shoes or like a new shirt or pants or something like that. Yeah. And it was just maybe with this COVID check we can. But I'm like, honestly, we have so many other bills to pay. I don't. I think this whole COVID check is just going to go straight towards paying off bills. Or maybe my backyard. I would love to put it in the backyard. Or maybe at the point when I can do it, I'll just move houses and get to another house. And the people can be like, cool, unfurnished backyard. We watch so much HGTV. We're going to make it like this and like this. Just like me. And I'd be like, you stupid, stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. It would increase your home value if you did the backyard. It would, but. Let's uh, sell the Chip and Joanna Gaines. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, uh, or I'm kind of hoping that they would be like a crazy tornado or windstorm that like oh my god I put in sod and it took my sod <laughs> you just see them like just, unrolling like some yeah. kind of fruit by the foot <laughs> it's like some kind of it's like a a fucked up version of like when a man's toupee falls off or like flaps in the wind you're just like no my Kentucky blue grass <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's um so it they just voted on it in the senate but it's different than what they voted on in the house so they just passed the senate on saturday they're going to vote on it um in the house on tuesday i believe and then from there if the house passes it which they more like like the democrats still have the house so it's a democratic bill more likely they're not playing politics it's going to go through um and then it goes off to the president biden to Sign and then after that, they're saying about March 20th, so end of this month, March, end of March ish, is when the direct deposits are going to start going out. And if you get paper checks, take a little bit longer. Um, but the couple of different things they're like, so um, our siblings, so like Isabella, she's over 18. So she would technically qualify for a check in this bill, whereas in previous bills, she wouldn't have. Because like previous bills, it was like uh, if you were claimed as a dependent, then it would be then you're then you're out of luck. But if you're yeah. uh, 
if you are a, like a college student or anything like that, you can still get the money. So good news, bad news, prisoners also get money. So I you stabbed got a man of, and I uh, got 3500 bucks. And I got $1,400 to put in my commissary. So I'm not crazy about that, but you know what? Okay, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I mean... It's one of those where it's like, I'm glad that college students are getting money this time, though. Like, um, like uh, my friend Scott, his uh, he lived with his parents until because um, him and his uh, now wife are saving up and all that stuff. And uh, when he moved out, now with this one, he'll be able to actually get the money because before, since his parents would uh, claim him because the dependent thing, then. He for so the past couple of times he hasn't been able to get the monies, and I'm like, I'm sorry, that's man, that's fair. really shitty. I'm like, that's it's shitty, but it, it's fair, it's fair but, it's, but like, it's like, that's really yeah, shitty. <laughs> my uh, brother in law is in the same thing. He uh, his wife is overseas trying to get their visa green pa- green paper green card thing figured out, and he was just like, damn illegals. He's just been living there, just putting money like fix them out so he ended up living with his parents again but it's like all these COVID checks he was all excited because he wanted to buy stuff with his COVID check and his dad's like oh no I'm de- I'm claiming you on these because you're living in my house it might be different if you're paying utilities and stuff but thank you for living in my basement and it, it's one of those where it's like yeah as a parent I'm like yeah that's fair I mean like you don't yeah, pay me like, to live here so I yeah, see like, like both sides of that. So it's it's nice that this time that like um, even if you were claimed as a dependent, you, like your parents would still get the credit and then you will also get the monies that you're owed. So it's not like your parents are automatically screwed. It's no, if you're claimed, that's one thing, but they wanted everybody to have money because it's the, which I agree with actually, um, just because it's the same thing like when you applied for grants or anything like that, they'd be like, well, how much did your parents make? Yeah fuck does that matter it's like it, it they asked like that is relevant until you're like 28 or something so like still if i were to want to go back to college they would still ask that question even though i'm married with two kids yeah like that doesn't matter we want to make sure your parents don't have money it's absolutely crazy which i can see for the most part but it's like what happens if your parents don't want to pay that's why i'm in college not living off my parents money on the yacht yeah damn ass. Yeah, it's it's all just a it's all just a headache of I'm not exactly sure why it's that way, but what are you gonna do? Um, yeah. So th- though it just has to get voted on again in the House because the what the Senate passed was different than what the House passed, so it has to go back there. Then the President he signs it, money goes out. So hopefully by end of March, money which works Yay. because we're about to get our taxes too because I got a refund this year. I'm not excited for taxes. Uh, and I'm sad. It's already freaking March. This this is not fair. <laughs> I was, I'm was, i still processing last March because I was really looking forward to watching March Madness. And I was really upset when they had to cancel March Madness. That was great. Like, I still remember um, when, because we're, we're running up on the year mark where it was like... Um, nowhere 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 february people were talking about it and everyone was like like everybody no yeah, it was like, just no, like, like more like no joking. no matter no matter what side of the political aisle you were on everyone was like this is nothing don't worry about it and then it like march hit and it was like the nba got shut down then like like every sport just started just yeah. toppling it except just, like, for falling by the wayside for the ufc weirdly enough to be fair, the, the, I U, think that's the UFC like the is best the only be, Yeah, the, the UFC is the only one to continue to go throughout this pandemic. Like they didn't do anything for the what was it month that everything was just shut down for a month. <laughs> that yeah. crazy well, time just, period. I remember because my boss gave me a piece of paper that then he's like, if you if you get pulled over for any reason and they ask you like why you're not home or like not because like, everyone was yeah. home. Um, he's like, just hand him this, and it just said like, "Hey, my job is listed as essential." Can I go on yeah, my I way? I got it. Now? When I was at FedEx, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, "What's this?" He's like, "It's a paper." The same thing. I'm like, oh, "I don't 
don't want to come in. And everyone's like, I can't believe you have to go to work. I'm like, I know. Stop buying shit. The reason why my bag is jacked up is because you guys are buying all this dumbass shit. Yeah, I was. I won't like, be home buying dumbass shit. I was like, I was on the, I was on both ends because I was like, man, fuck me because I, um, I just got done with I'm winter like, peak. I, 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 I now want, this peak. I want the, I want the two weeks paid off for if I get COVID, but also it's like it's nice that I haven't run into any money issues because my jobs that like people are buying things online and it's not like I mean my job like there's a shortage of uh package delivery drivers uh like we just barely caught up with where we need to normally be so when we're not like that's not even counting the influx that we're dealing with with covid so it's like yeah i'm in the i'm in the pro or like i'm in the boat of like complaining because it's so damn busy but also it's nice because i don't have to be like the millions of americans who are like Oh man, you took my job away, told me I can't work and are barely now opening things and you've only yeah. given me $2,000. Thanks. My landlord's really going to appreciate this. That's the that's the thing of like, so I'm glad that that didn't happen to me. So like I see when people complain about that, I totally yeah. get it. And yeah, it's like, it's... but I'm, what do you think of the uh, governor lifting mask orders? Um, so the, our, our governor, In so Texas... Texas Texas, Texas is straight up just there. They, well, they actually just all they said was you're not federally required to wear them indoors because the government shouldn't be telling you to do that anyway. And yeah. it's been a year. And um, but he said, if a business still wants you to wear a mask, you have to wear it. So he made yeah. sure to he just said federally, we're not we can't even make you do that. But if a business asks you to, you still have to in a business. And I believe I think they're Kroger, wrong. Kroger and maybe Walmart, I think there was a, there was Kroger and somebody else. They um, said even though in these certain uh, in these certain states that the orders are lifted, that uh, they're still going to require masks in their store, which is fine. Like if, if a store says it's no different than a store saying you have to wear a shirt to go inside. Yeah. So it's um, here in Utah. I think our governor said um, April fourth. How do you feel about that? That's not, but again, that's not saying that businesses are going to be like, yeah, no, I'm upset by it because there's majority of people don't care about reading like when, like what you can and can't do. Like what you just said, like, even though it's not mandatory by the state anymore, it's still controlled by independent businesses that want to enforce that they can and you have to follow it. People aren't going to be like that. People are just going to be like, I don't need to wear this because the government says I don't need to wear it. I don't need to wear this because the government doesn't need to wear it. And it's just like everything that they've done is just going to go away. And it's just, this sucks for everybody. This doesn't just suck for you. I don't like wearing the mask either. But it's just like, if we would just wear it just a little while longer, it, would, it wouldn't be so bad. So it's just like, I, I'm against it just because they're like Texas and everything. It's yeah. like, we're, we are recent decline in this and that and our hospital staff is fully aware of what's going to happen and we're really a gung-ho about all of this and it's just like doubt hospital workers are the ones that are like it's okay my like my only thing is like in utah it wasn't bad and we don't have a young population so it's i mean like i i I just wish that it wasn't such a a political issue of saying like when schools should reopen. That's like yeah. like this is like it drives me crazy because it's you're not going off of science or the 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 CDC is not going off of science anymore. They're going off of whatever way the wind's blowing now. Like they said, teachers don't need to be vaccinated, and then yeah. the administration said, well, it'd be nice if they were, and then the CDC the CDC is like. Teachers do need to be vaccinated. <laughs> and it's I like, know, like it just so it, many... it, it drives me crazy how just political it is because it's like you're you're playing with people's lives here, saying um like indoor dining still can't resume yeah. to full capacity. I love that Texas said you can just wear a mask if you're required to, because it's like we I don't want to give people money for free because that's not right, but also what are they going to do for money? They can't yeah. work. You, you either They're have like, to, you either have to open it and 
Like I wouldn't go to a sit down restaurant every single week. Or like, if I know there's a lot of people, I would just turn around and go home or do a different restaurant. But for sure, people should have the opportunity to, because that's how an economy works is yeah, like, is like you would go to the restaurant, um, order whatever you order, the restaurant would get the money, you tip your server, that's their income. Yeah. Now it's like, okay, well, you took all that away and here's a little bit of money and all this. And <laughs> you took like, it I away. Just, I just, I just survive. Hate, exactly. And I just hate that it's so politicized yeah. to where it's like, if you say, like if I say, oh, well, I'm actually not a bit the biggest fan of masks because science says that they don't work because nobody cleans their mask and nobody sanitizes it properly. So even if you have a, yeah. the N95, nobody sanitizes it properly. So it's basically useless. So, and, but if you say that people are like, well, you don't believe in science. And it's like, I, what are you talking? I'm just saying, I'm just saying that if I forget my mask, I don't have to drive all the way home. I could just walk inside of a Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I don't, uh, with that whole restaurant thing, there's a person I follow on Instagram, uh, chef Roy Troy. I think that's his Instagram handle. If you watched the movie, he's on Netflix too. He, if you watch the movie with him and John Favreau, chef he's the person that he helped john favreau in that movie but he also has a tv show on netflix with john favreau where they like go to famous celebrities and like they cook shit and stuff but he has a restaurant or like a a food truck type of thing and with his restaurant i think it's with his restaurant too he had everyone that was a waiter they make the food in the food truck but they already have it prepped out in like little boxes and containers and then how the servers make money they rely on like the tips, but I think he bumped up the the prices on his menu. But it's like the slight price in, increase goes to the waiters, and then they also rely on tips. But they're like delivering food out to cars when they they have like just a big mm. Chick Fil A line, and they just like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. That's and what a lot of people did to like um like. But that's adapt in California, so they have like. But eat like people in like even in California, like they. they <laughs> They said, you can't dine indoor or indoors, so you have to dine outdoors. And then they essentially built indoors, outdoors, and that was okay. Yeah, they just like and, built up a little pop-up tent. And it's funny because it's like, this This is the same thing. This yeah, What this is happening is, here? This is even worse because inside we had air conditioning to at least circulate the or move the airflow around. This is just a big humid tent. And it's like they have a huge homeless problem, so it's a health hazard. Yeah, like, so I just, like, of course, I want to spend two hundred dollars on dinner while there's a hobo shitting next to me, asking me if he can have my having, food. Having a soup kitchen, they're making yeah. eye contact with me. I can't eat my. Uh, it's just cra my, it, my French onion soup anymore. It's it's so it, it's all just so crazy to where yeah it did like just how like political it got purely because of hate for one person, and that's what doesn't make sense to me most of all is like just honestly think about what's best for the people what's best for the people whether it's right or wrong is to me a, a universal basic income for the next couple months or say hey if you lost your job apply here we'll help you catch up on your rent because people aren't paying their rent because they can't and landlords aren't pay, paying their bank note because nobody's paying rent yeah, no one's paying so it's like he, it's like you're gonna lose your home He's going to lose his property. It's all going to go to the bank where a bigger bank buys out the property. It's like, and then it's just, like yeah. what kind of game are we playing here? So, yeah, that, people but, just don't but care good about news, people. end of March, we get money. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited. So, Maybe I can uh, buy something cool for myself. Yeah, I don't Maybe know. another I, comic book. You can get yourself a PS5. There's a couple more drops happening soon. There was some. I told Jessica I was all excited. They, Best Buy had them and GameStop had them this week. And I sent her a message. And then two minutes after I sent it and then she read and responded, they were sold out. Same thing with uh, GameStop. And I said Best Buy already. So it was just like, <sighs> maybe. You should have um, you should have just, should have just pulled the trigger. I know, but it was Better it wasn't PS fives. It was only Xbox, which oh. I'm honestly not against because Halo announced that they're doing a battle royale, which I'm excited for. But 
it's going to be console exclusive to Xbox and PC. So it's like, okay, well, Matthew, Marco, and Ashley are going to have fun playing while I'm sitting here playing with myself because I don't have an Xbox or a, place or a PC. I still think you should just forget the next gen and just go with PC, especially with uh, PlayStation doing um, PlayStation Network games to PC. Yeah, so I'm just... I'm also upset because randomly I check... It's a good habit to have. Most people do it. I never did it, but I have emails, receipts sent to me every time I have a subscription go through so I know what is being... Mm. like stuff is coming out. And my PSN re redid a year and i was like man that was 70 bucks i mean i i use it every day so it's it's worth it but i'm like well if i get something else i'm I'm not gonna get my refund oh well i don't have enough money for a new gaming pc right now so that's fair maybe at yeah, the end so of the you, month. i mean now you're kind of shot in the foot with it yeah it would just wouldn't be so bad if they if playstation just worked with other companies and then did cross saves for different games like you can do it on xbox or not you can do it on call of duty and you can do it on uh borderlands where it's just cross console cross generation thing where it's like okay i have borderlands for my playstation i can transfer my account from that to my pc or to my xbox and everything is just saved and it just transfers it over but it's just we put so much money into apex and I don't want to lose my skins because they don't transfer over and just dumb shit like that. Yeah, it's it's one of those where it's a lot bigger of a headache than it should be, but that, that's like that's really the works. price of business really kind of thing because yeah. it's like, yeah, we want you, we want you to stay here and it's like going from Apple to Android. It's just such a headache. Yeah. But that's true. I'm like, it wouldn't be so bad if I can just somehow come up with 250 bucks for each game that I play on PlayStation and then just did do one big ass microtransaction and just got all the loot boxes. But even then, that's just like, oh, that's so much money. To buy true. the shit you already have. Yeah, that's the hard part about it is like, because that's what you, it, did. I mean, that's what you just, did. Yeah, it's like, I just ended up, I'm like, I don't want to play and like grind my way back up to get all the characters I had. I'll just pay the $40 and yeah. unlock all the characters because I'm not doing that. Yeah, if I would be against it but i would even be okay with paying money for them to transfer everything from my current console to like next generation like pc or whatever it is i wouldn't pay more than like 20 bucks for it but i would still like if that was an option i would, it would just, be nice to have the port it'd option. be like fuck yeah. okay yeah that that would be nice um however so let's what what have you heard about the cyber truck any new thing? I totally forgot about Cyber Truck until you said it. Um, last time I heard anything was when Elon said that he was like, California sucks. Let's go to Texas. And they were talking about making a Tesla factory in Texas and him moving stuff to Texas because it's cheaper. And that probably is true. <laughs> it's probably just as great as a well it's gonna be cheaper for plot and stuff like that but it's probably better or at least the same for solar power or solar panels because texas is just flat it would be great and tech i mean california is mostly flat too but there are some mountain I mean, but it's not like he's putting the solar panels like in the mountains somewhere you're gonna pay a lot just, less taxes that's for sure yeah i'm just like i'm like lots of people i follow content creators are moving from california to texas because it's like it's cool, but this whole COVID thing kind of scared the shit out of us large populations, so we kind of want to move away from that. Plus, we make more than six figures a month doing our content creation, and I don't like paying that much in taxes. That, Plus, that, that, that's, barbecue that's the good thing tea. about Texas. Yeah, if, if you're making that much money, it's like, why am I living here? <laughs> yeah, it's just, I have no, I have nothing against Texas. I like Texas, so... I've never been, at least that I can remember. So it's like I I I have nothing against it. It's just eh, I don't 
it's not like I make, it's, I don't make millions of dollars a year. So I'm not like, oh, I'm not going to like rush off to Texas because no income tax. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I don't make that. I don't make enough to complain about where I, don't I live. Make that much. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Everyone has, well, not everyone, but it's just like, I feel like Texas is like a sleeper state. Where I'm like, there's a lot of cool things you can do. <laughs> That's true, but not any, not since COVID. Everyone's not since things. COVID and not since the winter storm where most places don't have like hot water still. Yeah. Which, but before then, I mean, like I said, I love tacos. I love Mexican food, love tea. I'm pretty sure we have family there on our dad's mom's side. I think we have a couple of Solises that live there too. I don't exactly although, know. Although if you the anywhere where you can just give somebody a gun that's like the wild west i want to be there that that's sounds true. awesome I'm you, like, can just you like, get a gun and you get you a go, truck that's yeah, the texas that's, way that's true i like to think that trucks are cheaper in texas um so it is so it is confirmed that they are building their new gigafactory in texas or tejas they are building it there and um that's where the cyber trucks going to be manufactured I'm so, so cyber trucks cyber truck. only coming out of that. I um, mean, I I was one of the few people that liked cyber truck. Well, I I really that I asked it. around because um, like, I remember we did that poll thing and it was just like, why cyber truck is gross? And I'm like, it just looks so cool and I like it. I think what I like about it is trucks have at the time two designs. They have the typical like truck when you see a ford or chevy the tundra they all they they're truck shaped and then the other one is the honda ridgeline <laughs> and then it's just like with the ridgeline you have the branch house of like the bajas and like the el caminos yeah. and like stuff like that those ones it's not really a truck it's like a car but like just with the empty back part of it and the yeah. cyber truck is like a radical design where it's like it's, it's different. People don't like it, but it, honestly, it's just like it's a new version of a truck. Like all sports cars are considered sports cars, but they all look different, if that makes sense. And so surprisingly just, affordable. So the base one is going to yes. start at just under 40. I think it was like 39.5. Yeah. So the um, Elon has teased that they're going to probably update everybody about its progress and all that stuff in uh, the second quarter of this year. So here coming up probably the end of this month started next month so be we'll be on the lookout for that because I want now the that one. they're building that factory and that everything's starting to move forward i mean the um the reserve price was only a hundred dollars and yeah. it was refundable so everyone so, like got it it was yeah i want it i want it just i want the most expensive version because is, is that the one that comes with like the atv that can go on the back of cybertruck I want the one that has the. I want that one. What I'm surprised is why like electric ATVs aren't a thing. That sounds awesome. That's true. That'd be so cool. I'm like, I don't imagine them being that much. I mean, everyone had one when they were younger. The little like big RC car thing that you drove. Yeah. It only lasted like 20 minutes, but. My question is, is, um. Why don't they make uh, electric airplanes? I'm too dumb to know why. Or like an electric helicopter. I don't know. Probably because maybe mile. They can't figure out a good mile or a consistent mile thing. Like like, when you fill up a helicopter with gas it can go this far with this but i think with an electric one it, there's too many different variables that can happen i just want that to be enough time in the world where i can just get, leave my house hop into my tesla helicopter flip a switch and you're living in the george jetson lifestyle <laughs> that's that's what i want that's what i want um so the they're gonna definitely have some information just uh, he teased it and I uh, forgot that the price of it started at 39.5. So I'm very excited for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't afford one, but I, I'm no, very excited to just, see them on the streets. Yeah. I just want to see one and just carry a bowling ball and just throw a bowling ball out the windows of all the ones I see. <laughs> Elon said, this is okay. Or a sledgehammer and just. Whoop. 
That'd be true. That um, I wonder if they're going to run into the issue, like uh, on Breaking Bad, the Walter White House. Everybody keeps throwing pizzas on the <laughs> roof of it. <laughs> Fucking stop hitting my car. <laughs> That's <laughs> like people are just throwing shit at your car. Window. Yeah, it's just. But I mean, yeah, I'm, so they have the um, they also have their semi truck that's rolling into production too, and I believe they're going to start shipping those out uh, very soon. So that'll be weird to see on the roads. They don't have crazy long, um, like they're not long haul trailers, so they're not going to go from they're not going to go by coastal, but they're yeah. they're enough to go inside inside states. No, so they can like go within going, states and stuff. I so. believe I like it's. I don't think you can go from like take like Salt Lake City down to Moab. I don't think they have that kind of range, but I, they have more than enough to get you around the Wasatch Front for a lot less than filling up a diesel. Yeah, no, front. that'd be, it's going to be really cool, especially if they can like get to a point where they can incorporate it into your cars where you still are in it just to like that deliver so packages cool. and stuff. It would be more efficient for them so you don't have to worry about like just accidents and shit like that or the accidents would be a lot less just dangerous for, for me reason and it's just yeah <laughs> i just i mean i don't want to get an accident in one of my package cars but that thing is just a rolling tank i won't get hurt <laughs> yeah i'm okay i know i'll be fine but yeah it's just like especially if it can just like because i mean with most car things when i was teaching it was how to drive for a little bit it's like most accidents happen when you first get in it and like start moving or anything under like 10 miles an hour because people mm. just aren't paying attention and i'm like Especially with a big, just car like yours, you're driving. Not saying you're gonna hit, but it's just like people are used to seeing them around parked in neighborhoods. They're not gonna be like, "Oh, there's a driver in there." They're just gonna run across the street and then get mm. hit by it because it's just like, "Hello, idiot! I'm driving." But so it's just it's gonna so be cool. I'm, that happens. I'm definitely it's excited. And there's some talk. Uh, he let some things slip that. He used a very weird phrasing in this, and he said anybody who wants the full self-driving beta can download it. And oh, he's, yeah, he's probably going to clarify that. on that. All, all he said after that was um, he really should be more careful with how he phrases things, which is fair. He's an African. What does he know? Um, I'm but, not afraid of just... He's been in so much trouble with Tesla. <laughs> yeah, it, it's his so, company. Uh, I don't understand him, why he's so why people are getting trouble, but it's his company. Well, it's a publicly traded company. It's not a private company. That's what I know. That's what the problem is. It's because it's a publicly <laughs> traded. It's just like you can't say, but it's just like yeah. Um, it's so he he'll clear he'll hopefully clarify that when he talks more about the cyber truck because that would be massive if anytime you get a Tesla that you get the full self driving. Just added on one that's very funny considering that they just raised the price of it from like what was it five to six to seven i think it's like eight thousand now yeah now it's like eight so it's like if you buy it that's the reason why you buy a tesla yeah it's to buy it's like buying a jeep that it's only two-wheel drive it's just like i just I, up and then buy it like that I, I like i run into like it'd be cool to have one it'd be, like it would be cool to have one don't get me wrong but if you lived in like texas it'd be very cool to have one because like even though so like in some parts of Texas they might get a little bit of snow they don't get snow like we get here, it's like California like it's a cal it's it was manufactured in California it's a California car, like there's a reason that Subaru does so well in the snow is because yeah it was made for that it wasn't made yeah, like of course it does it does do fine this. in the yeah. but it's like yeah I, so I'd be afraid to get one and live here because I don't want it to. Um, they're not they're not made for cold weather like you see funny videos of like people not being able to get into their car because when you tap your key to your tesla or you get close enough with your phone to unlock it the window rolls down a little bit so it can so the door can come out that's how it seals yeah um like the there's uh, people who like the windows frozen so it doesn't come down so they can't get in their tesla <laughs> or like yeah, you'll see people like open their trunk and the back window is at too much of a slant that all the snow falls on the back window immediately into the trunk. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, I live for that. I wonder how well they do, especially with a good pair of tire, like snow tires, just because Teslas are so heavy, so I don't know how well they would stop with like crazy amounts of snow. But also, 
when you're in the cold, it affects the battery charge and like the length and the just like the duration of it. Like when I bring my camera outside to shoot when it's snowing and stuff, it cuts the battery time in half. I wonder yeah. what that is like for an the fan, uh, uh, the uh, battery drain is a real serious uh, problem when it comes to uh, electric cars because I think they say if you leave your car for I think they say if you leave it for like a week you lose ten percent to they call it phantom drain and it's just your your like a battery just loses power like batteries have expiration dates so yeah. a car battery would be no different um, but I can't remember why but I think they said if you leave it for a week just not moving then it loses about 10 percent of its charge and I, they call it phantom drain yeah so again it's just like have you heard of that um, hydrogen car by hyundai did, did we talk about it once i that don't sounds familiar. know is There's that a, the one that had like the blade runner steering wheel where it's like stupid yes then you then we probably did i think it was hyundai there's so there's a car out there that runs on um hydrogen and so essentially, you know, a more um, douchey natural gas. Just drive natural gas. There's more natural gas stations. Uh, because like, there's only there, there's so, a natural gas station. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's very few of them. If you actually go to um, certain landfills, uh, like where, not like, uh, not landfills, um, waste recycle centers. Yeah, those like things. ACE, like for, for Utah, it's ACE and stuff like that. Um, the recite or like the trash trucks that aren't run by the state that are like the cng all natural gas if you go to where they where th those trucks live <laughs> since they run on natural gas they're actually smart about it and they have natural gas pumps out in front of their facility so if you if you have a natural gas car then you can go you're there. gonna smell shit for a little bit because that's where the recycling stuff is but yeah you're no saving absolutely the planet. so it's just, absolutely yeah. and right now you're mm -hmm. gonna be paying just as much as gasoline so idiot <laughs> it's like that's cool i guess but like our like um, we do, our, i would just do natural gas our package cars are now natural gas we're slowly phasing out of all of our gasoline ones which is super shitty because now we don't have any fucking fans because they don't have any fans for the natural gas cars so it's like it was, nice in the, it was nice in the winter because the heaters didn't work because the gas cars were so damn old that the heaters just fucking stopped. Now it's getting, it's going to get hot. Now we don't have fans. <laughs> now we're so trading like, one for another and it sucks. It's like, well, I guess I'd rather be too hot than too cold because being too cold is awful. I'd rather be too hot every single day of the week. I'd rather be too cold because you can always add more on, but you can only take so much off. But imagine being too cold and doing what you do, or like doing with, with handling packages and everything. You can't just keep adding layers on because then you get you're just like this big yeah marshmallow. You, you just can't. I don't know, like it's like, it's just it's, it's like I mean, if, if yeah, I'm worked. home, yes. I, when I'm home, I love like windows open. I I it has to be cold in my room for me to sleep. But when I'm at work, it's like. I can't wear gloves because I have to use my stupid little computer to scan packages. So I always have to like take my glove on, take my glove off. I have a pair of gloves where just the thumbs are cut out, like the tip of the thumbs. So it's it's a problem, man. Yeah, no, because it's just like I would go into work and I would be like in a hoodie and pants and stuff, like freezing my balls off. And then 10 minutes into the shift, I'm like, okay, I'm sweating everywhere. I need to take all of everything that I have off. And it's but awful because... Inside. Like if you're like, you're just like, uh, you start working and it gets, uh, it gets warm and then you hit like a snag in something. Like you're trying to find a package and then the cold seeps in and you're like, <laughs> like right now we're in a uh, fake spring because we're, um, it, it hit 60, hit like 62 yesterday on yeah, Saturday. It was great. So I, I was like, wow, this is incredible. And it hit like 60 today. I was like, this is what's up happens every year this is fake spring so we're about mm -hmm. to hit another cold front and then here yeah. what in april is when we actually warm up so i'm like i appreciate it though it hasn't the there's only once when it snowed crazy bad this year so i i don't hate that that's fair yeah i'm like i'm jessica we were talking about today jessica's like well don't get too excited because we're expecting at least one more shitty snowstorm and some rain and then it's just gonna like slowly fade away yeah yeah that's not surprising at all so i'm like yeah that's that's utah 
But I feel yeah. like every state says dumb shit like that. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's just, so it's just <laughs> I don't know. But Utah's different because it literally can't. I mean, it was it was snowing the other day. Uh, Martha said they got snow, and they're like farther, like or yeah, they're farther south than we are. We normally get snow. That's what we're at. She's closer to St. George, and it's like we got a lot of snow down here. And I'm just if we did, it's in the mountains. We haven't actually had any. I've only had to shovel the snow once, and I honestly didn't even need to do it. I just wanted to get out of the house. Yeah, it hasn't it hasn't been terrible at all this year, which is it. Like for the most part, I believe has gone to the mountains, but you, I think we're still behind on our snowfall. Um, but the that so this hydrogen car, I saw it on TikTok or something, and apparently it's like expensive as balls. Like, and it, it doesn't, it's not one of those where it's like a thousand miles per tank. It gets like a normal 400, like four, 400 to 425. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy expensive to um, fill up. And I don't even know why that car is would it, exist. Is it a cleaner emissions than like gas or what's the, what's the trade off here? Like why? Or is is it just like a prototype car where it's a concept and they actually make one for like the car shows and then it gets shelved? So I I assume it's like it's, Stoney it's, did one. it's on the it's on the same um like the same tier because it's still lighting gas on fire, like yeah. natural gas. Like so so the so natural gas in this works the same. It's still uh, internal combustion, it's still lighting it on fire. Um but then again, like uh, uh, electric cars aren't that great either because you need to mine the metals. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Electric cars are just as well. They're you trade it off. You're not getting emissions, but you will eventually run out of the metals to make electricity, and you can only have so many charges. And then I really doubt that you can recycle them to 100. percent Not that you can recycle a car to 100, percent but it's just I don't know. We just yeah, and it's um, to fly. That'd I'm trying to see Toyota. Oh, it was a Toyota hydrogen car. And this was a very interesting one because like right now they're only selling it in like California and something else. And it's funny because uh, there's a hydrogen shortage. <laughs> what makes it even funnier? Do they get um, an ac- Like, are they safer than other cars? Like... I don't want to crash and it be like a Ford Pinto and but I, I just assume, literally blow up. I assume it's the no the more like no less dangerous than a than a natural like, gas car. Like, is it, it, it has to be flammable. It uses it for fuel. <laughs> yeah, I'm like it is a what am I working with here? Yeah, so um they have an incentive right now where you get fifteen thousand dollars off of the uh, Toyota M I R A I Mirai. I, I'm just calling it the Mirai. Um, so it's the, it's about 75 to a hundred dollars for a, um, so they have, they have, they have two fuel tanks. So the 300 miles, 75 and the 380 miles, 110 to fill. So no, what an interesting (laughs) game to play. What? What a stupid way to just, you can pay more to go the same amount, but you're going to be doing it like most Americans fill up like twice a week or like once a week, depending on what they do. I barely fill up because I don't, I'm not working and I'm not, city's not going to school, but even then it was like, I would fill up like once a week. Yeah, it's. It just makes no sense. And yeah, so right now they're it's only available in California because that is the only place where there's a hydrogen filling station. It just I hope no one buys it. I want to say the planet, but it's just like you're literally just wasting your money at that point. You might as well just be buying trees and somewhere. So it looks like it's a it's a essentially a hybrid. So it has an EV and it's the hydrogen thing. Um, it's about 4,300 pounds. And guess what the bitch. zero to 60 is? 12 seconds. 9.1. <laughs> <laughs> so 
a Dodge Neon so, could go faster zero to sixty than this and so get you better have mileage. To like, <laughs> you have to stomp on the gas right when the when the light turns green to get on the freeway because you need to like got to work up the incline. I that's need to be at least freeway speeds by the time I get to the freeway because that's the rule. It just. It like the 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 reasoning behind is it, it just a sedan or is it like a it's a sedan a yeah. sedan sports car looking thing where they did that it looks it looks kind of like a Camry I can show you so it it's it has the body style of like a Camry uh, or a, like the Camry Corolla yeah it looks like there. a like a they, it looks like Corolla. they just tried to make it look more futuristic I hate the hood. I like the back, um, but I you like can the definitely back. The tell front of it that. looks like a like a fat stingray. But yeah, it it fills up uh, weirdly, not like a natural. Well, I guess like a natural gas. I'm not sure how normal pumps are, but it has like a gas pump. You like um, squeeze it to open the thing, and then you um, like to open the nozzle part, and then it latches onto your car's nipple. And then I you was like looking at the gas thing. I'm like, that gas thing looks weird. It looks like a bike tire. <laughs> So it's yeah, it just it just seems like a like a yeah, like everyday it. sedan. It looks but, okay. It kind of looks like the Kia or not the Kia. The is it Kia that makes the Genesis? No, that's Hyundai. Uh, it looks like the Hyundai Genesis or like the what's Kia's fancy car that they make? Sorrent? No, not Sorrento. <laughs> no, it's just Hyundai has Genesis, and then Kia made one that's like their fancy. The Kia Soul. I actually like those. That's the goat of all cars. I like those. But does Kia? Well, I, I don't. I didn't know Kia had its own special. I know like the, the Hyundai Genesis, but I didn't know Kia. Had I one. thought they did the K nine hundred or something. That sounds right. But it, it looks like a Hyundai Genesis, where it's just like you're living large, but don't look at the badge because it ain't nothing good. <laughs> it's not Italian, so don't don't even ask. Hmm, yeah, the K900. Yeah, that is looks correct. like that. So, man, it's... I, I... It does. <laughs> I'll, I'll show it <laughs> on the screen because I, I didn't know what kind of car it was. Yeah, it, it looks does. Like... It, it's, it's a, they, they took it a little more sleeker with the back of it and the front of it yeah. looks... It, it, it is more aerodynamic because a rounded front is actually better than like a yeah. angular, according to Elon Musk. So that's, I, I trust he knows what he's talking about when it comes to, yeah, or, so he is an engineer. So. About, so I'm just going to let him do what he does. And okay. That's but true. Yeah, I mean, so um, if you buy one of these, you're, you're probably a vegan and do CrossFit. I don't know why you would buy this. I also have a compost pile I'm working on. If you have any like garbage, just let me know. I do, but if you put it in there, please turn it. It can cause a fire. It can just spontaneously combust. People don't know that. You just, uh, eventually, we're gonna get back to steam. We're gonna go to steam powered cars. <laughs> we're gonna just have like holes. you're gonna have like like charcoal briquettes. <laughs> you just have to like you just like you have to, you have to Kobe shot it into the yeah, engine. It's gonna have my kids just shovel the coal in. Marco, Millie, Marco. <laughs> what I don't understand is why we don't have more pedal cars. People are like, we want to save the environment. Let's do electric. Let's do gas. Let's like do, the play um, school ones, like the big yeah, one no, that's no, like not, red not, on the bottom you're not, you're and yellow. Gonna, um, you're not going to yabba dabba do the bitch. I'm saying like, you know, well, they have those, some that um, have pedals. You you know those like pretentious, uh, the pretentious um, tech campuses where they have like the people in a meeting and they're all pedaling their cards. One yeah, person just steering, having they're having a meeting or something. Yeah, like they have them in Salt Lake, the, the bike the bike and drink tour or whatever it is. Yeah, but I, so, so like, why don't like, we yeah. have those but regular cars? Then people can stop complaining that um, cars this, cars that. Well, you want to get there fast, don't you? Because Beth isn't pulling her weight, that fat bitch. Well, I can see you, Rick. I can see you only have one leg. How are you, how are you even in rhythm? You're, just, you're having to do the thing you do when you're a kid on the uh, elliptical where you swing on one of them. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like... Swing that's, this like, way. like that's what drives me crazy. People always love to complain about the the environment, all this, all that, but they have no problem getting in their car to go pick up food when they could just make food. Yeah, you can it's make like, food. No, I don't you think can you, just 
people have no problem buying the newest iPhone when they make it in China, ship it on a boat over here. It's like you they don't have a problem getting on an airplane to go from LA to New York in six yeah. hours. And like that all this well, really, I was watching this uh this interview, I think it was on Netflix or something. It was something that Anthony Bourdain was on, like right before he passed, but he was just talking about like the majority of food that we make is wasted because people they don't understand how much waste goes into making it where it's like you go to a restaurant, get a doggy bag or like food to go or food out later. You either forget it because sometimes I do it or you put it in the fridge and then you forget it. And it's like, oh shit. Or you don't want to eat it because you're like, I don't eat leftovers. I'm like that person. But there's also like, when you buy those fruits and like little syrup cups, they're made or like the fruit is grown in another country and then they ship it to another country to package it and they ship it to another country to get everything like set fine so they don't have to worry about taxes and then they ship it to the u.s Mm -hmm. so it comes to like three or four different countries before it is actually here and it's just you know much you're wasting on fuel driving across the world or i guess but, but that's what is like um, just, is people like I didn't think about it like that, but I'm like well, that makes but sense. people enjoy paying people enjoy low prices. That's how you get the low price. Yeah. Is you have to you have to do it all these backwards yeah. ways. And it's like, well, yeah, well, why don't you pay more? Why don't you get that brand over here that's local? That's why local is more expensive. Yeah. Is it's like, well, why don't you get that local brand? Well, cost more. Yeah. Yeah, that that yeah. that's the trade-off here. Yeah, that's just that's the way it is. I mean, they pass the cheapies pass the savings on to you because they do all the things. But yeah, I don't. they do it the hard way, and then you yeah. just fucking figure it out. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but when we come back, we're gonna talk about um, a deadly cockfight, the new Nintendo Switch. So Marco and Ashley can get a new one, and <laughs> uh, one. and Snoop Dogg straight up forgetting he was streaming. That, we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, and I want to start off with, uh, so w- both of us, um, actually, I'll save that one. I want to start off with the cock killer. Yes. So, kill the cock. I have never seen a, I've never even seen a video of a cock fight, because that's like, um, I have a hard time watching, which is a very interesting thing about me. Uh, I have no problem saying very off the cuff things but when it comes to like watching anything where like animals or children get hurt like even if it's like a kid falls off of a slide or something like if he like accidentally falls slides down the slide that's funny but i have a hard time watching like if i know a kid got hurt hurt i have a hard time watching that or like if a dog accidentally hurt itself something i have a hard time watching those so i've never actually seen um like with Michael Vick with all that stuff, like whenever they tried to show photos, like these are the dogs that yeah. were doing this. I was like, just like looking away, looking at everything else other than the screen at that time. So I've never seen that, but apparently India pretty big. So uh, what the UFC is in America, the <laughs> India has a, had their own league of cockfighting. Apparently, apparently it's very big there. Go figure. Um, that just seems so weird because they're like, they're religious to the point where they like don't hurt certain animals and there's lots of like uh religions that are branched off of their main one where it's like they're vegan they don't they don't eat meat because it's a it's a thing that's alive and it has feelings and shit like that alone to like go kill it they're just gonna make a fight each other I mean, the, these guys, like, so traditionally it would just be like a rooster would just attack the other rooster to death kind of thing. These roosters were straight up gangster because, so a rooster was equipped with a three inch blade tied to his leg. What a random, what a very random way to hold, to hold a fight between two, uh, two, whatever, two roosters. I don't understand why you would do it that way, but apparently, uh, the rooster had a knife attached to its leg. It f- was freaking out and fluttered up, like how they do the freak. Uh, the they f- pretend to fly. Yeah. And so they did that. And apparently in the panic, it accidentally uh, slashed the a 45-year-old man 
it doesn't say where he was stabbed randomly. It just says apparently it stabbed him. And I'm going to guess like it probably hit like the inside of his thigh. It probably that, hit like the, artery. yeah, the artery in your thigh or like, it, it doesn't had, it, take much to cut your throat to bleed out. Yeah. I mean, but I have a hard time believing that. I mean, they're not very tall people, but I have a hard, I don't think they can jump five and a I'm half I'm picturing feet. people like, I can't, I'm not far enough back, but like, you know how you like squat, like when you're playing craps in the backyard or in like some neighborhood. Oh yes, just like, the gentleman's just... game. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Where you're like hunkered down a little yeah. bit, where you're like trying to get the most body size. I'm picturing something like that, where they're just like, he's like, go, go, go. And then all of a sudden, or like, yeah, so. Someone, Essentially, the bird freaked out and stabbed the, or like somehow cut him. It just says uh, that the guy started bleeding heavy. That's the direct quote. So they great, they have great detectives in India. Just know that. Uh, so apparently, he started bleeding heavy, and um, he he was brought over to the hospital where he died. And they're still trying to find more than a dozen people suspected of organizing the fight. So, I mean, if they do get caught, they'll spend about two years in jail. Does, he, each. does, it, does the cock win its freedom? I, I assume my master. so. Or do they like just kill him and then turn him into to fried chicken? I don't think that happens. Uh, let's see. So the rooster was taken to a police station, tried, booked, and it might be prosecuted. Not really. They may need to produce it before court, but after that, it's set to be taken to a poultry farm. So it's going to be fine. He will be chicken at some point. <laughs> he will be eaten in whatever dish that he is packaged or that's very for, hilarious. So. What do you feel about bullfighting? I am not a fan. Really? Anything where the animal. I like, mean, you said that. You yes, said the anything whole thing, where the. Just... Or it, like, I'm fine with like bull riding because the. A worst thing that happens is you win and the bull's tired. The best case is you get bucked off with the dissipated. Yeah. So worst it's, case like, is it's like, I don't want the coward the kicked or... in the head and or, or any of that, but it's like you have, but with bullfighting, it ends with the matador stabbing the bull in the face. I'm for it. I don't. I this is weird. I've never been in your hot seat before. <laughs> I'm for it. I don't maybe it's just I, I'm it's I, I think like my because it's like I, I have no problem like if I were to go hunting, I have no problem hunting equal, yeah, because I, I would just I would hunting. kill uh, well the thing is, is you don't eat the bull. You can. I mean they, they don't you just can. like leave the dead bull. But there. I they, mean what, what I'm saying is like food. is like that's not for that's for like entertainment. To where well, it's like so I'm like, with hunting though it's like you're doing really. it for sport it's, you 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 eat the fucking deer you hunt it for your family this is like a matadors in between everybody like yeah. can you dig it and what in my fantasy he's wearing he that he's wearing all red no flag and he had like the you know the elegant ball gowns that have like the drape on the side so you yeah. do that and it looks like a squirrel suit he essentially does the the tornado in front of the bull. So when the bull comes out, he goes, I'm okay with it just because there's an equal chance that the guy can die to the bull dying. That's fair. Yeah, That's no, it's, just, it's like I wouldn't I wouldn't be like ban bullfighting. I just wouldn't watch it. I no, so where it's okay. like to each their own. Like yeah, I'm not I, gonna like, I, sit like and watch it on yeah. YouTube or like I don't know yeah. a favorite band. It's, like, but it's I like I mean, it's a part of our culture, so it's like yeah, if people like, do that, then that's like it's totally chill. It's it just too, and I'm like, it's a cult. I don't see. I've never been to a bullfight, but I just like yeah, I, it's, I'm like it's very popular. They are trying to ban it in like certain countries and stuff. But I, yeah, I mean, like to wanna... me, it's like uh, that when you start getting down that slippery slope of like we should ban this because it's not right, and then it's like oh yeah, but it's a part of our tradition and it's like then when you start banning people's traditions i don't like it but to be fair i'm an american and i believe in total freedom so yeah it's it's one of those where it's like i think uh cars contribute a lot to the environment but i'm not trying to ban nascar i'd ban it just because it's lame they have better things to do with their time <laughs> i'd ban it because of uh 
It's What's boring that? as fuck. What's that? Do you know how boring this is? I fell asleep three times. What's that guy's <laughs> name? Jeff Gordon. I bet it because of Jeff Gordon. He's too handsome. <laughs> and like I, I just don't, I don't see it. You guys should just get rid of this and then adopt the Formula One. This I would, I would watch it. But it even then, this. like uh, Formula One's just as bad on the environment. So it's Formula like, One's it's, probably even worse because they're it, more. It's, it's like, it's like I believe that cars are bad for the, but I wouldn't try to ban those and be like, yeah. Dude, they're lame. No, I wouldn't do fucking that. But because it's like, yeah, I, I'm not against animals dying. It's, I think it's one of those where the bull didn't sign up for this. This is messed up. <laughs> Ride that. Thing. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that answer. Well, I'm, I'm appreciative of your acceptance. Um, yeah, I've, I've never been. I would probably go and then just not watch the ending. <laughs> like you I would go, go because, for the like, environment. because it's a, it's a spectacle kind of thing. Like, yeah. um, but weirdly, like I would go see like a UFC fight because that's two adults who are like, yeah, we train for this. Yeah. We know what we're doing. And I would have no problem watching that. Like me and you send each other clips of um, like highlights and stuff of like fights and stuff. And it's like, yeah, no, these are two humans. Just one of them got their ass beat. And now he's on humans sports. Beating the shit out of each other there. in little, <laughs> tiny pants <laughs> and the sports bra if it's needed. What's weird is when people don't wear the tiny pants. I feel like, like you would have to just, I feel uncomfortable wearing something that short, but you need it to be just roundhouse kick. You can't roundhouse kick yeah. if you're wearing these big ass You're wearing decent um, jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my jeans now or if you're wearing uh, your boxing like boxing shorts are like really long and like comical. So it's just mm. like you Even these regular shorts, it would be they're like too baggy. They would be constricting. Yeah. Like those are like compression, so they're very flexible. Yeah, what and are they those... get into? They get into some pretty compromising positions. What like are if, those? If, uh... <laughs> out of context, it looks like those... something illegal is going down. <laughs> That's true. What's the? What are those military shorts that they wear? Um, uh, rash. They're like extreme. The they're like hair. extremely tiny. James knows what I'm talking about. Text me on Monday or really whatever you listen to. Tiny you know shorts. what I'm talking about? They're like they're like little tiny shorts and they never wear under, under underwear underneath. And it's just like because they're so small, it's just literally your nut sack will fall out anytime you sit down. I don't anyway, next, know. Next topic. I, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like those um garments <laughs> that the church has you wear. Let me let me let me uh yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I've never heard of tights that you wear under your uniform. They're not. You don't wear them under your uniform. It's just like when you're not in uniform, you can wear them. I just typed it in. This one company calls them Ranger panties. I like that term, Ranger panties. I'm a fan. I'll send them to you so you could put them on the pod real quick. But it's just they look like that. Um, they're very silky. Some of them could be like not silky, but they look like that. But honestly, you don't really wear boxers under. I mean, you you can wear like compression shorts, I guess. But something like that is fine because when you're fighting somebody, you're full on roundhouse kicking oh, somebody. Oh, I know the same what time. these are. Yeah, they wear them in like their barracks. Yeah, I know what they are. They wear them. On I their... actually might get a pair of these. I just like. I'm afraid of roundhouse hilarious. kicking and then like your nutsack falls out just because you like your leg goes out and one of the one of the one of the one of the nuts just like comes out to say hi give it just like helping hand it makes that little suction sound because it gets stuck to you very oh gross <laughs> i got hit by his marble sack so yeah they're they're these i mean they're only 15 bucks we should both get a pair that That's would be true. hilarious i don't want to get in trouble for wearing them though because i wasn't in the military yeah. Um, yeah. I, James, text me. Text Matt and me and let me know if this is okay as a former military. Are you, are you okay with me wearing this? Do you yeah. think I could pull off, Matt and me could pull off these little shorts with our nut sacks hanging out, maybe? <laughs> Just don't wrestle with them. Or if you do, wear something underneath. Don't wrestle with me. I'm not wearing anything underneath. Um, and uh, let's go to Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg storming off his Twitch stream. Have you ever been streaming and then you uh, don't remember your streaming? Yes. That's the reason why I stopped streaming with the camera right now. 
is because I forget that I'm streaming or like I just have it on. I mean, uh, I was in the when I started the first time, Sydney was like in the middle of potty training type of thing. So she was constantly running around like without pants on. And I didn't want that thing like that. And now that we have Amelia, she's in potty training. So she's also running around with like her underwear on just frolicking and then Jessica sometimes is changing in the background. Last thing I need is to like, oh man, Jessica, your titty was in my stream for like 40 minutes. You're just sitting there laying on the sofa topless. <laughs> that would be hilarious. So yeah, I mean, that's, but other than that, there's nothing. No, I always you? forget that my camera's on just because, um, I mean, it's not like they're going to see anything. One, I don't have a double chin anymore. Thanks to my beard. But they're just gonna see me like laying back, like leaning back like this, watching TikToks. Yeah, whatnot. just like waiting if, for the round I to start or something. Yeah. So, yeah. but um, I try to be cognizant of. Um, so I use Streamlabs, and uh, they have a mobile app, so I can just click on the mobile app, and then uh, from there hit like whatever transition I need to to like whether it's be right yeah. back or ending or live screen, whatever one I need to hit. I try to be aware of that, and it just like I, it turns off my camera and mutes the audio but i've never for never just straight up been like rage quit into fuck this shit because i would have to turn i would i would yeah. remember to turn off my system so it's like but it would never like stay on because i turn off eduardo because i don't want him running yeah, like all day. the only thing that would come close to me is like if i forget to close out of a zoom meeting and it was open because there's a couple of times where i've had zoom meetings with sydney's teacher or like after the podcast is done, I leave everything open and I'm like, oh shit, is this still on? Uh oh. Hopefully everybody was gone. The, <laughs> that kind my, of thing. My favorite part about this uh, story, so I'm reading it off of CNN, and my favorite part about this report is it says Snoop Dogg rapped on the 2006 remix of the Pussycat Dolls hit song Buttons. That's <laughs> how they. That's how, how they know Snoop Dogg. That's how CNN knows Snoop Dogg. Is the rapper on the Pussycat Dolls hit song Buttons in from 06. Yeah, I'm like, that song was so long ago. I mean, I forgot good, about the Pussycat Dolls. Good Lord. I did too until I was just, I just pulled up when I, when I was doing all the research for the show. I, I pulled that up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that what is a funny way to describe there. Snoop Dogg. Not like, if you're going to go that route, why wouldn't you go with um, the famous rapper and host with Martha Stewart on that show, that cooking yeah. show? Why wouldn't you go off of that? Why do or anything? He, he has a new show called The Big Show, I think. So, big, huge show, epic show, something like that. It's I think it's like a talent show. Like America's Got Talent. But Doesn't he have one with like little kids and like uh, football? They're like peewee. I think he, I don't think that's a TV show though. Or oh, like it might be like it show. might. He, he had a lot of organizations like that. Yeah, I'm like he had something that was like with football related stuff. I like wouldn't, that. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I'm not, I don't um follow Snoop Dogg too, and I only watch Netflix. <laughs> so. Uh yeah, I never, I don't. So he he very well he very well might. I just think it's funny that they didn't use any current references to Snoop Dogg with all that he does. They used the, the 2006 <laughs> remix of Buttons. You know, the band that was popular for like a summer and then they had 50 band members and they ended up parting ways because they sucked. That's very true. Um, so on, uh, it was like last Sunday, so a week ago today, uh, they, so he, he plays Madden a lot on his uh, Twitch streams. Yes. And apparently something happened where he rage quit and it was funny i've I've seen the audio and he's like man fuck this shit that's bullshit and he like slammed the table and he like gets up he's like can't believe i still play this fucking game and yeah, he, he's he, he gets he goes out of the room he just never returns <laughs> uh there's i rage quit a lot through some games i haven't done it well actually i have done it recently but it's only for a certain game, but the whole video clip, uh, Snoop Dogg was playing online with this other person. He's really big, like you said, into playing football and just, he plays it on, I don't think he plays on PC. I think he plays on Xbox. He's yeah, just he, Series X, but he was getting his ass kicked. It was like, 
two or three touchdowns or something within the first or second quarter. And he couldn't, he wasn't even on the board and he was just upset. And the last time they like got the, it was like a pick or something and took it straight back. And he was just, fuck this. And just gave up. So it was just like funny watching him just getting upset over a game like that. Because he's, just, he's like late fifties. <laughs> he's like late fifties, but he's also pretty mellow because he smokes weed all the time. And it was just, it's just funny seeing that kind of stuff. He played with Dr. Disrespect uh, a month or two ago. They were playing Madden and then Dr. Disrespect was making fun. He's like, I haven't played this game since 95. <laughs> I didn't even know they still made these games. And Snoop was like, oh yeah, this is great. Blah, blah. And Snoop picked his team and Doc picked his team. And they were just, Snoop was kicking his ass for like the first quarter. And then at the very end, Doc came back and he, Doc ended up losing by like, three points or something but it was just like hey that was fun I like i said i haven't played this since 95 but uh let me know if you want a rematch i might i might take you next time and then it was kind of like he was kind of sweating because he was getting his ass kicked pretty pretty hard for the majority of the game especially to win by a field goal that's hilarious i i would play madden a lot more if uh Playing on PC has a lot more issues because it's a lot more prone to um, like mods and stuff like that. Yeah. So people are like 90 I'm feet okay. tall. I'm okay if the mods are for NFL Blitz. I wish they would bring back NFL Blitz. I wish that they would bring back uh, Fight Night. Or Fight Night. I want them they to have UFC. That. They have fucking UFC video games. You mean to tell me EA can make a UFC video game but not Fight Night? That's what is true. happening I here? Don't. Yeah, because I miss... Uh, EA made a boxing one. What was it called? Fight Night. That's uh, that's right. I was when you said Fight Night, I was thinking of uh, Def Jam. No. <laughs> when you said Fight Night, I thought straight of Def Jam. But yeah, I mean, they did Fight Night forever. I actually liked playing that. I didn't even like. I watch boxing, but I didn't really like the game. And you bought a couple of them, and I really liked watching them. Or yeah, no, they're them, they're, so. they're they're crazy fun, and it's like yeah, they they and they're bringing back NCAA football. Still, no, it's not a fight night though. There's plenty of good boxers now in this day and age. Yeah, that you could, that people would know their names, and people would buy the game because people like fighting games. Yeah, and like especially because those games, you make the career, you make your own person, so it's not like. Okay, well, if you don't like playing these people, you can just do the story mode and just create your own character. My my only question with the Snoop Dogg thing is, how did he? When did he realize that he was still streaming? Because I don't appa- know. I think... a- apparently, the stream went on for like seven or eight hours. Yeah, I'm like I think so it was for like eight hours. It wasn't like uh, he like left and then like uh, after that, like the video, like a co- after a couple minutes, he came back in and shut it off. Yeah. This went on for seven or eight hours after he left the thing people thought he was just like doing it to be funny and stuff like that like doing that to go like be funny and then grab a drink and come back and yeah come right back and just no do he something just, he like just straight up left and went to somewhere yeah he just disappeared for literally a whole day yeah i mean it's just it would have been awesome if he just comes back and like opens up a porn hub tab or something like that it doesn't show anything, but you can just hear what he's watching. <laughs> that would just be funny. That would be hilarious. Um, just... well, one thing that I wonder, so there's a, there's a new Switch that's coming out, and I feel like it's coming out pretty, well, I guess not, because the Allegedly. Switch has been out for a minute. Um, time is very time There's is no weird. such thing as time right now. There's not, and uh, the Switch came out... It came out Three in 2017, ago? I think. Yeah, so it, it it came. I know it came out a very long time ago. Because, 2016 or 2017 is when the first Switch came yes, out. Yes, because I, I remember um, in 2016, somebody I knew had one, I think. It was either like the boys 2016. Like the boys got it for Christmas that year it came out. I was pretty jealous. Yeah. So I'm I'm not what when whenever it came out. The point is it came out of what because I was gonna say it didn't come out that long ago. It yeah, actually March of 2017. Yes, because I, I remember yeah, somebody somebody um I knew had one and I saw it and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I tried it and I'm just not very good at it. Uh man, it's crazy that's four years ago. I know. Like that's very weird to think about. Um I, know. I was like your age when it came out. You are old as shit. If you play your cards right, we'll be in the retirement center together. 
I play my cards right, you're you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be a lit retirement sentence. That's true. Um, so apparently the new one's going to drop on uh, September 20th. So they announced this uh, extremely early. I've never heard of a handheld thing being announced that early. Yeah, I had no idea they were actually doing it. I know they had, they've had rumors for a long time. Like I even speculated with Nicholas about like Nintendo we're in this weird cycle now, not because of COVID, but it's like, instead of having the next generation of console, they have like a mid series jump where it just plays the games that are already out, mm. but at a slightly better resolution. And it's just, well, th- that's essentially what the switch is doing, but it's not a next gen really jump. Like they're, they're doing some, they're doing like the standard things you would expect of like uh better battery, better resolution, yeah. stuff like that. But the the weird thing is, so the new Switch is coming out on September 20th. However, they're having a, an upgrade. So they're going to have three different Switches. They're doing this extremely weird. I think they just That's haven't weird. had success in such a long time. They don't know what to do yeah. with it. Um, so they're going to they're gonna have the Switch Lite still. And then they're going to have the one that's coming out on the 20th. And then they're going to have a mid, like a light or a mini jump mid august with better battery life and they're like we don't even know what to call that one so they're saying like switch 1.5 because so essentially they're gonna have that one out in august and then the new um second the second version of the switch is gonna be out in september yeah i mean that's it's surprising. I mean, I probably would have came out sooner, but it wasn't for COVID because Mario, that Mario one just came out not too long ago and I really wanted that one. I thought it looked really cool. But uh, I don't... The reason I never got one is I just don't play it. Like, I, it's not for my demographic. I mean, no. it's cool for people that, like, love, like, or diehard Nintendo fans that there are games that they that Nintendo makes and stuff, but it's just... I would honestly only play it for Mario 64 and like the Mario Kart games. And if they, there was this thing where they're like, Nintendo Online is going to bring back like the old school games, like super, the other, the older Super Marios or Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong Jungle Beats and like just games that we played growing up. But it's just like, that still hasn't been a thing yet. And also I don't, I don't want to pay for it. So, yeah, and no one else I know has it. I mean, Marco and actually have it now, but it's like before we started playing with them all the time, I didn't know that. And it's just, it's just I mean, hard to I, buy something I, for a new game system. And I would have a hard time justifying spending that much on because the only thing I like, would get is Mario 64. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't, it's cool. Like I said, if people buy it, I mean, I honestly think Jessica would really like that uh, Animal Crossing game. It seems like it's up her alley, that kind of stuff. And the girls, I really wanted to get one for the girls because they're at the age that's like prime for them. But uh, 250 so, bucks for like the the big one now, yeah. I could think of other things I could buy for. I could buy a new mic and a new mic stand. I can buy a new light. I could buy almost a new lens for that. Like, so re- really, I'm looking at the comparison side by side. It's going to be same resolution. So new switch to old switch, same resolution, uh, same price, uh, same screen size, the controller is still detachable, still TV output support with the dock. The biggest thing is still the same storage. So 32 um, internal, but you can have the micro SD kickstand, uh, same size, same weight even. Um, but the big thing is the battery life. So the battery life is 50 to 100% better than the previous one, which that's it's, really good. It, it, it makes total sense why they would drop this because it goes from, I didn't know it only had like between two and a half to six and a half hours of battery life. That seems like, I didn't know that either. That seems I mean, it depends low. on like, because Switch is weird. Or Nintendo is weird with their stuff. Like they make some indie games that are like paper, not want. Paper Mario's at any, but like Paper Mario, where they aren't like graphical, mm. like super intense. But then they just recently announced that Apex is coming out on the ninth, and Apex is like super intense. And the same thing with like the Zelda games; they're really intense. But if you're going to compare it to like the other Mario sixty four, mm. I mean it it was intense back in its day, 
but graphical wise, I'm sure an iPhone much. can run that. My iPhone can run that. Yeah, it's you can. Two years old. Uh, I had it on Jessica's old Droid. I think she had like an S six or something like that or whatever. Like when she still had Droid, but I'm like, it had the little mod thing where you can play Mario sixty four on it. Like, if her old ass phone can do it. Yeah, no, that like it's, um, but so it's going from two or so from basically three or two and a half to six and a half hours to four and a half to nine hours. So that's, yeah, an, so that's that's an insane jump. I didn't realize that it was that. I always thought they lasted longer than that. I don't know why. I admit because I, I never had one. Too. And every time I've played with them, it's been in the dock. So yeah, I've never that's like thing. I'm like, I would only play with it on the dock. I even thought yeah. about getting like the the light because it's like that, but it's just but the light can't dock. Yeah, the light can't dock, and it's just I don't want. It just comes. I'm like, I don't want it because I don't. I don't know where to put it. I just don't like holding the controllers like this. Yeah, I'm just like, it's cool. Like when we played, I really have a fun time playing it when I'm playing with other people. Like when we played with the boys, we would talk shit and then get our ass kicked in Mario Kart. And they were like feeling like all like full of themselves because they kicked our ass in a game they play all the time. Or like, what was it? The, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before when we all went to Tessie's and we got like day drunk and then we played the switch uh was it nicholas's switch and we played I think so we played uh what was that fighting game didn't we play smash there you go i would also buy smash but we all played smash together we had like six people we were all drunk yeah. playing it it's like that's, that's fun, fun because it's like it's yeah. like the hope it's like the party but it's like if you're a fan of uh like if i was a fan of zelda um, if I wanted like all the Mario things and like if all of us had switches, we can play like Mario Galaxy and stuff like that. Yeah. And that would be crazy fun. But it's I'm not the biggest fan of those. Like if um, somebody were to have one for like 100, 150, I would probably buy it just because yeah, I'd buy it for that. Um, so maybe when the new one comes out and I, I can cop a, a regular switch, I don't want the light because I, I want the dock. Yeah, I'm like, so I want the dock to put on the TV because it has... I think the switch now does 720. Yeah. Like the screen is 720 and then it's 1080 in the dock. And I think mm. it might boost it up to like 1440 or 2160 on the new ones, maybe. So yeah. So I'm like, I would be totally fine getting an original switch um when the uh version two comes out, because then I would just be like, Yeah, I got it just because I would gladly pay a hundred for like a hundred, hundred and fifty for that to get Mario on it. Glad, but I'm not going to pay three hundred dollars to get Mario on it. Yeah, I'm like that. I just don't want to spend that kind of money on a game. Yeah, or a console. I don't. Then, it, like, then we could like, um, so just... like on nights when we like our weekends, we like, because we do D and D roll for damage. Go check that out if you haven't already checked it out. Uh, we do our D and D podcast on Saturdays. Then, like after that, we could like hop on stream. Uh, yeah. Super Smash Bros or something like that, and then like because Sundays we usually play COD or Apex. And then so. just one of the days where we don't want to play them, and yeah, we so are I since mean, we're looking for a new thing. That would be a good yeah. Thing so to it's have. like um, so maybe in maybe in August or September when the so the new ones the one point five comes out in August and the new one comes out in September. What a stupid way to do that! What a dumb way. To, they should they should have dropped one point five last Christmas and then done the new one this year. Yeah, I don't know why you do it that's that close to each other. I don't know. I feel bad for the people that like buy because Nintendo. What I like about them is that they make limited edition like Nintendo consoles. Like they had the Pokemon Go one. They had uh, something with like dragons and shit on it. They have the one that actually has that Animal Crossing. They have the they have the Mario one. I think they had a Zelda one. But they just have like cool consoles that makes you want to like rebuy or buy the one that you want and that kind of stuff. Where other mm. country or other companies is like Xbox and place or Xbox did a really good job too with like Gears of War and just Halo and shit like that. But PlayStation is like, well, we have a God of War one, we have a blue one, and we have Spider Man. But they're all sold out now. Good luck. That's fair. So it's just like. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo has a weird marketing thing compared to other people, but they're making it work because they're still just as good as the next gen, even though they're yeah. priced a hell of a lot cheaper and they're not running nearly the same type of games, like not even close. That's very true. 
um, yeah, let us know what you guys think about, uh, have you guys ever forgotten your streaming or <laughs> something as ridiculous as that? Would you watch a matador and would you, would you, cons- would you want the Nintendo switch or the switch light? Those are the main questions for the day. That's true. But so go ahead and, uh, go and check out our, uh, D and D podcast. We do it live every other Saturday. Uh, so not next Saturday, but the Saturday after we'll be doing roll for damage live again and rate, subscribe, go view that or watch it on YouTube or listen to the audio, uh, rate review, subscribe our soul talk here. And, um, I believe that's everything. Yes. Oh, I don't have any. And we usually, uh, we, we usually stream nightly with whatever video game we play. So go ahead and, uh, Matt Man SLC for me, Juicebox Tony for this guy. And we'll talk to you guys next week. Okay, goodbye.